we can put people on the moon, why does a woman not know which day she can become pregnant? What if we could collect enough data, put it on our smartphones, and it would be an incredibly empowering tool for us to have. Clue is mainly used for that. It's to help women figure out when they're fertile, and that's mainly to have babies rather than to prevent having babies. It's not used as birth control, right? Actually, what we help people do is to understand their full cycle. What we find is that people have a ton of questions, and these questions change as we go through our lives. You know, the beginning is like, what is the period? Am I normal? You know, am I healthy? When can I become pregnant? How many more years can I become pregnant? Am I going through menopause? For Clue Now, a lot of the diagnostics are based on information that women will enter directly into the app themselves. Are you finding that to be something that's hard to keep women doing regularly? Do they drop off at some point? When we look across other health tracking apps, we see generally that retention is pretty bad. People tend to drop after a while. But what's really special about female health is that it keeps changing. We never quite figure it out. And it really is nice to know every month when your period is going to come. So actually, we have incredibly good retention. And I think there is this notion that if we could automate everything, that would be better. And yes, we do want to automate as much as we can, but there's actually also that emotional component of like, you experience something in your body, you kind of want to do something with it. And even just that very fast little action of like, I enter a data point can be kind of gratifying. With all of that data you're getting, I know that this is a big question that comes up with all personal health related tech and apps. Um, where are you standing on trying to safeguard that information? and? and making sure that what is personal really stays personal and remains anonymized and anonymous. There is risk when you collect data. Like fundamentally, when you collect something, you know, something could happen with it. But there is a huge upside, which I think is worth taking the risk for. I think the bigger problem is actually not the kind of security thing. I think it's the ethics on which companies build their businesses. I really hope that we're going to have a world where users and consumers demand high ethics standards, you know, where they say, I'm not willing to trade my privacy and my private data for a free service. Where are you going with the other things that you're not covering yet? So older women, you know, post, post menopause, menopause and post menopause, men. Now I've been thinking about females for almost a decade and I learn new things every day. It's incredibly big. It's really a huge area, which is one of the reasons why I think Femtech is taking off at the moment because there's so much to be done. If we can be a companion for people from their first period till the last period, really enabling people to feel confident and good in their bodies throughout that whole journey, including menopause, you know, that's what we want to do.